301, F100, uh, 302, C4, um, painless wiring, tilt steering, um, new automator gauges, white face, white face gauges, those are about 450 bucks, uh, tilt GM steering, I need a shifter but it gets it where we need to go, um, radio, needs the tailgate uh, hinges welded on and get the wood in the back, pretty nice. Uh, my name is Travis from Westland, Michigan. Well, I am uh, presently for the next two minutes uh, the owner of this fine vehicle. My name is Jim Whitehouse from, from Andrews, North Carolina. I brought it up here today for the Columbus uh, Ford uh, swap meet, thinking that we'd find some Ford uh, fans, and thank God we finally did. And uh, it's a 62 Ford uh, Falcon, uh, minus engine transmission, six cylinder car, uh, body straight, uh, no Never been hit, uh, it's rust free. One of the many, or one of the few. Um, it's a great car for, for a drag car, for a autocross or a road race car. Or go, it's got all the original equipment and uh, could be put back to a vintage uh, Falcon. And this gentleman will tell you what they plan probably to do with it now. My name is uh, Robbie Thomas, I'm from Hilliard, Ohio. Me and my father and brother just bought this car, probably going to fix it up, make it a nice little daily driver, hopefully. You know, it's a good looking car. We're fans of the Fords, Falcons. We come up in here, come up in here for some uh, interior pieces and we bought a car. Three people put the money in for it, so <coughs> we're hopefully going to have a family enjoyment out of it. Well, my name is Kim Neal and I'm from Mason, West Virginia. I'm co-owner of Neal Brothers Hot Rod City, a classic car sales in Mason. What we have here today is a 57 Lincoln Mark II. It's a Continental Mark II. They hated it when you called them Lincolns because it was supposed to be a separate car. It was definitely a limited production car. Spatial engine was made for the car. It was a 368 cubic inch engine and Lincoln just absolutely refused to advertise the horsepower of the car because they wanted it to be a, a big secret at that time. The cars were made in 55, 56, and 57 and were ultimately replaced by the Thunderbirds. They just could not compete with the Thunderbirds. I got the car about three years ago. It was restored by an older gentleman in Galpliss, Ohio, by the name of John Foster. John ran into some health problems and let me have the car, and I took it to finish, and what you see here today is the final result. It's a 57 Mark II Continental. And what we're filming now will be the interior, and you might take note of the chrome plated door jams. It's probably one of the very few cars that were made production wise with this feature. The scoop is the fresh air intake for the air conditioning system. The air conditioning system is located behind the back seat and it takes approximately 12 pounds of Freon to charge this system. I'm Dave Stalling from Phil Stalling Classic Cars in Newark, Ohio. It's a 52 Ford custom line. It's got fat man spindles professionally lowered, the original six cylinder Offenhauser intake with two carburetors. It's got the split manifold Offenhauser intake, uh, dual carburetors, it's got power disc brakes, uh, fat man lowering spindles on it. From Tennessee, rust free, rides and drives great, nice interior, it's a good car. Okay, Dave Stalling again from Phil Stalling Classic Cars. In addition to the 52 Ford, we've got a 61 Galaxy from California, rust free, runs good, V8. 63 Ford Fairlane, six cylinder three speed, beautiful car, runs and drives like it did brand new. 81 Fairmont, V8 car, automatic, loaded. 68 Mustang convertible, 289, automatic, great car. 67 Ranger, 352, three speed. 66 Bronco, six cylinder, three speed. 69 Mustang, six cylinder, rare car. 67 Mustang from Las Vegas, absolutely rust free, air conditioned, V8 automatic. 77 Mustang II, 351, race car. And a 73 Mustang Grande. Come visit us anytime, Phil's, philsclassics.com on the internet. My name's Steve Underation, and what I have here is a 1969 Ford Mach 1. It's a Cobra Jet, R code, which means that it was a 428 with a shaker hood scoop and the shaker intake system on it. 
This particular car was originally candy apple red, which is what you see on it now. It has a gold stripe kit that goes with it and a red interior. The car was uh, professionally restored by Grand Auto Body in Barberton, Ohio, and they spared no expense on it. They did all quality sheet metal repair with it. The floors were replaced and the quarter panels and the front aprons and some parts in the trunk. It essentially was built to be a rock solid street machine. A car that probably will never rust again in the rest of its life was well taken care for. It's one of those cars that needs to be brought back to its original condition. I have all the parts that go with it. Uh, as in with a lot of other uh, people that have cars, you get into too many projects and sometimes a few of them have to go to finance the others. But essentially, this is a car that was built to go fast, beat a lot of Chevys, and have a lot of fun driving at the same time. So, hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name's uh, Kirk Baker from uh, Ortonville, Michigan. We have a 78 Super Comp Drag Pinto. Got a 514 SVO, 950 horsepower on racing fuel, 1150 horsepower on nitrous. Uh, plenty fast. It goes real fast and real straight. It's a heck of a ride. As you can see, we're, we're here trying to sell it. and. Uh, uh, better luck next year, maybe. <laughs> uh, my name's Greg Stillwell. I'm the owner of Stillwell's Obsolete Ford Parts. We're from Evansville, Indiana. We have uh, a selection of NOS Mustang parts and various other Ford parts. Uh, we've been doing this for 27 years, so it proves you can survive in this business. And uh, this show, the Columbus Fall Swap, has always been a good one on Saturday. We're, we're super swamped on Saturday. Sunday is, you know, a little slow, but with the weather outside, it's a wonder that there's anyone here. There's some 58 Ford fender guides in there and a 68 Shelby gas cap, new old stock. We've got 427 Galaxy emblems, 67 GTA emblems, NOS 68 Mustang gas cap. There's a Falcon hood ornament. There's all kind of gold in that little cabinet. Um, hi, I'm Jeffrey Frank. Um, these are pumps are original, non-reproductions. Uh, this pump here was... Uh, Totally disassembled, sandblasted, clear coated. It's got the original portion faces. Uh, it's been spinning, still ding. Uh, it's 1955 Tokheim. Uh, restored to Sky Chief. This here's a 1927 Rush Model K. Uh, it was made for one year. It's a pretty rare pump. It's a 10 gallon visible. And uh, I got about 50 pumps all together. Uh, I like to restore them as a hobby. Uh, and it's fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Fry with Fry Brothers Dragsters. We have this Nostalgia Dragster and we have this 1960 Ford Falcon tow car that we use the tow our dragster with. And it's a original stock Falcon with a flame paint and lettering on it, otherwise it's a stock vehicle. Then if you swing around to our dragster here, this is in competition. We race it all over the United States in good guys meets, NHRA meets, runs approximately 180 mile an hour in a low seven second bracket. It's Ford powered with a Cleveland heads and a SVO block. And uh, we race it in California most of the time against mostly Chevy powered and Chrysler powered dragsters, but this is the only Ford powered dragster in the United States. How long have you been doing this? I've been racing dragsters since 1959. I raced a twin engine Buick from 1959 to 72. Then I left and raised my family. Then I raised the top alcohol car from 1993 to 1999. And I built this car in 2000, started racing it last year. And um, I'm retired, my pit crew's retired. We're all retired electricians. This is what we do to keep ourselves busy. <laughs> and we all enjoy it. Thanks for coming to us. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Kevin Durth, the uh, president of the United Foreign Owners. And I'm also uh, co-chairman of our Fall Super Swap here at the, Ohio, at the Ohio Expo Center, which used to be the Ohio State Fairgrounds. Uh, anyway, we're winding down our 16th annual uh, Super Swap. This is our club's annual event uh, for Ford people. This is an all Ford show, swap me, car corral, auction. And uh, we're winding down on, the, on Sunday here, and you can see some of the vendors out through here. Some of them are packing up right now, but uh, it's been a great weekend. And I'm so happy to say uh, that yesterday we had a record Saturday crowd. Um, 
winter has definitely set in this year. Uh, the past few years we've had some great uh, Saturdays with 50 degree weather and so forth. Yesterday was cold and blustery and we still had a record Saturday crowd and uh, I guess it just shows car people are diehard. But uh, we've been at this 16 years. Uh, we are in four buildings here at the Ohio Expo Center. I'm currently standing in the Voinovich building, which was put up by our former governor a few years ago. And uh, we're in, talking to the fairgrounds about adding a fifth building for next year. We have a workforce of over 100 people in our club that show up here, and uh, we are all volunteer. Uh, my schedule for the weekend, I get here at 7 o'clock on Friday morning for vendor setup day, and I'll leave about 7 or 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, I actually sleep in the buildings. We've got showers here, and we got a nice room that we can stay warm in. Uh, we, in this show, we have over uh, we have over a thousand spaces. We had over ten thousand people come through here yesterday. So, you know, if you Chevy or Ford guys are out there, if you can imagine the uh, uh, Chevy or Mopar guys, if you can imagine ten thousand Ford people here in one spot, we would probably just drive you crazy. But uh, it's been a been a great weekend. Uh, we are always Thanksgiving weekend every year here. And uh, we're going to be back next year. Our guys are signing up the vendors. Uh, half, the show is 50% sold out when we leave here today. It'll be 50% sold out for next year. That's how popular it is. Uh, we all got together and had a great time this weekend. Our club members enjoyed uh, every minute of it. We've got the people that were here for three days, some people here for three or four hours. Uh, we've, we've got our event shirt here, bragging about the weekend. And uh, we. Uh, in a little bit, we'll show you, hopefully we can show you our giveaway car. Um, for the last eight years, we have given a car away. And, and this is not a raffle, this is a uh, door prize. Everyone that comes through the gate and pays admission, we give a ticket to. And uh, this year, Joe Turner of Cincinnati, Ohio, won our, our giveaway car. And that was a 66 Mustang, a nice little blue 289 coupe. And uh, it's... 289 car with, with working air, and uh, I talked to Joe just a couple hours ago. He's on his way up here uh, with the trailer. Uh, he couldn't believe he won a car, and uh, so that, that's always uh, one of the highlights of the weekend. And uh, we already have a car, I already have our car picked out to give away uh, for 2003. That'll be a 92 Mustang uh, LX 5 liter convertible. So uh, anyway, I've had a great weekend, and uh, uh, Ford people, I don't care where you're at, uh, we've had people here from South Dakota, Montana, all over the country, uh, our Canadian friends, come join us over here at Fall Super Swap. Well, that's all we have time for this issue, see you again next time.